Hello everyone! Today we are going to talk about the dress got on the bias. Today is Monday and I have a holiday on Friday, so I decided to make a sealed dress with the lace sleeves. Let's have a look at the dress. The dress is festive, so it's very simple. I can add any accessory to this dress, which is very important for me. The neckline is pretty wide, it's kind of a boat neck. The shoulders are very narrow and the sleeve top is a bit higher than usual. The dress is pretty wide, not too long and has a seam on the back. Taking into consideration the fact that we'll be using the black crepe china will make a two-layer dress. I will use the second layer of fabric instead of the lining. The sleeves will be lacy. You'll see me working on this dress throughout the week and on Friday I'll put it on. Of course the work starts with the basic pattern. Mine was made on the basis of my 10 measurement system. I transfer it to the tracing paper. I'll prepare the front and the back and we'll make a pattern for this dress. The dress I have in a picture. We need to change the pattern. I want you to understand that the basic pattern is not an item. It's just the basis which fits you perfectly. We adjust the basic pattern to each item. Please be very attentive. I'm going to show you very important details now. Draw chest tuck, making it a bit biased. Maybe I'll open it a bit, but I'm not sure yet. Enclose the shoulders and cut some off the back. I do it because there was no tuck here. Do not cut anything here. Just this part. Notice that I make the shoulders even. When cutting on the bias we shouldn't have many tucks. That's why I cut off the shoulder and didn't move the same space to the tuck. Now cut about 3.5 cm off the neckline. Don't make it too wide. Notice how convenient it is to cut the shoulders at the same time. You can't make any mistakes. At the back too. These are the shoulders. This is what we got. Now I cut about 3.5 cm off the other side to make the sleeve top bigger. We get pretty narrow shoulders. This is the back and this is the front. Have a look here. You can see that the shoulder seams at the sketch are very small. I've already showed you how to make a sleeve not as easy as it seems. We'll make such one now. Draw a straight line from this point. The same line here. It should be straight. Sign everything. The front, the back. I don't open an armhole more because the bias cut makes the fabric sag. I try to show you everything accurately. We'll attach these details to the sleeve. The back and the front are ready. It didn't take long to make them. Remember that we need to fold the sleeve in half on the center line. 
take one or two centimeters off here, just like for the raglan sleeve. Don't make the cut straight. This line can be straight. Make it smooth. And take the extra piece off the shoulder. This is a sleeve. I attach the detail from the back to the sleeve. I'll cut out the sleeve now. I've already showed you how to do it. The openings should be the same on the both sides. Don't stick it like this or like that. Only in the middle. I'll transfer this leaf to the tracing paper, for you to understand how it looks like. This leaf is about 47 cm long, kind of a three-quarter sleeve. I'll draw this leaf here. Be very attentive. I transfer this leaf. We don't need the angles, so I make them smooth. Add one centimeter to the width. I throw this draft away. I'll be working with this sleeve. Three centimeters down from the edge is the point where I should start the regular sleeve. You can change this line a bit, but it's not necessary. Make it more loose. As you can see from the sketch, this leaf is straight, so I draw the straight line down with the ruler. This is a pretty complicated design, but I think you'll be able to do it. Those who follow all of my actions accurately should have already made it. The front is ready, the back is ready, the sleeve is ready, so we can start the main part, cutting on a bias. We'll cut the front and the back on the bias and the sleeve will be lacy. I really hope you'll see me wearing this dress on Friday. I'll show you how to lay out the fabric to cut on the bias. This is the front. Try to make the smooth lines. This is our sleeve. It will look just like that on the shoulder. This is the dress we are going to make. I've already told you everything about it. This is the sleeve. The sleeve top is higher than usual. This is the back. We'll cut it on a bias and make it flare. This is the front. I need to make this stock smaller. We don't need so much space here. You can use a ruler if you want. I usually cut by side. I make a small opening for the flare here. 
have a look here. I want the dress to be a bit wide, so I make an opening here, and by doing that, I close the tuck a bit. I cut on a bias, so it will fit me good. Front, back, sketch, sleeve. As I've already told you, I'm going to use the black crepe de china. The fabric is ready, I've already steamed it. This is the natural silk. It doesn't stretch through the length and breadth. The fabric is very nice. It will fit me well cut on a bias. I'll make a two-layer dress because it's not a summer dress. The sleeves will be lacy. I use the French silk. This is a fabric I'm going to use for the sleeves. This dress will look really good with the black cord shoes. The dress will look really good with them. I have a lot of work to do, so I'll need some help. However, I'll show you all the details. Today I've showed you all the preparations for the dress cutting. We'll do it next time. Be different every day. Don't be lazy, be young and take care of yourselves. That's all for today. My name is Paukšta Irina. Subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.